Namaste, everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from in5d.com. Up here, over here. <laughs> and uh, welcome to another In5D Facebook Live. Hello to Ari and David, Sherry, and Rebecca, Aisha, Carl, Candy, Valerie, Tanya, Stacy. Everyone's jumping in. Awesome. Um, exciting time right now. Uh, we're just about almost one hour away from the fall equinox uh, that comes up at 9.54 p.m. Eastern time. So whatever time it is for you, it's just about one hour away, at least here you know, for us in you know, the United States, uh, North America. So that's what we're looking at um, in about an hour, almost to the exact <laughs> time. So... A lot of uh, things are associated with the fall equinox, and we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, I just want to touch on the Schumann resonance. If any of you guys were awakened around 5 or 6 o'clock this morning, Eastern time, I guess uh, on the Pacific Coast in the United States, um, that would be uh, 2 to three o'clock in the morning, there was a, a, a large wave that came through last night. So um, <laughs> if, if you felt that today, that's probably why, if you felt it at that time. So let me, um, I went to a, uh, it was the Sarasota Mystical Bazaar at the Sarasota Auditorium. And I bought some cool stuff. I want to share the stuff that I bought. Um, I did do a, uh, a live video and I saw this Buddha statue. I didn't get that. But bought a cool incense burner. So I got a little you know box to put the incense in. I have like, I don't know, probably 10 incense burners around the house. But this one looked really cool. It's really classy. I like the little case for it. So I got that. And I got this uh, abalone shell. It's really cool. Check out the iridescent colors in there. And a little stand to put it on, made of wood. So, you know, you can use that for sage, which would be ideal for the upcoming full moon. Um, or burning like cone incense or whatever. So I got that. Pretty cool. Shiny, sparkly. Oh, and I bought these um, crystals, quartz crystals. Um, I often buy these. They're just like little tiny ones. And what I end up doing is I put them around my house and just bury them outside for added protection. Oh, and the last thing, man, you know how some rocks just talk to you? They're like, I need to go home with you. <laughs> well, that's what this one did. Um, let's remove the tag. But I saw this one. This was, as a matter of fact, this was right by the Buddha that I was looking at. Look at all the inclusions in that. Oh, and it's got that window right there. Can you see that window right there? How cool is this? So you got the window with all these inclusions. It's just freaking stunning. And I walked by it, and uh, they, I think they, they wanted like $38. And I'm, I'm like, well, yeah, I like it. And it, I like it because you can put it in your hand. You can just hold on to it like that. And... Uh, and I like the inclusions because all the inclusions basically tell a story uh, behind it. So, but I had to have it and I just kept going back and back and back. And eventually I, I, I went there and I bought it and I gave her 40 and she gave me 35. So she knocked like $3 off of the price of it, but um, had to have it. Ran into a bunch of people out there, Luciani, 
was out there. I ran into her and uh, met a bunch of people that uh, know me, that, that I just met for the first time, that know, know me from N5D. So that was pretty cool. Um, and it was a really good time. So uh, it goes on tomorrow as well. So if you're in the Sarasota area, it's called the Sarasota Mystical Bazaar. And you can find it on Facebook. So what next? Oh, uh, I just want to say um, a quick shout out to everyone that's on Patreon uh, that's um, following, following me there. I'll be coming out with a new video um, this week where I take my Patreon people through a tour of Siesta Key. So that's going to be fun. And uh, just a quick reminder to um, if you're not subscribed to N5D, you can subscribe on every web page on N5D, whether you want the weekly or the daily. That way you're not missing out on anything because like many of you guys know and what are going through, many of us are shadow banned. So we'll put out articles and I do that every day. You know that, you know, for years I've been doing this every day, but it just doesn't reach many people. The example I, I use is, you know, I've got over 400,000 followers on the N5D Facebook page, but yet, any given article only reaches maybe one to 3,000 of them. That's how bad Facebook suppresses this information. So subscribe. All right. Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. It's awesome. Hey, Vivian, Lisa, Tamara. Tamara is the name of my spirit guide, which many of you know. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. So, the equinox is now officially less than one hour. Equinox actually means half night, half day, basically. It's equal night, equal equa, night, nox equal night, 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness. So it's basically done to celebrate the harvest. You know, this is one of the most biggest things that, that happens during an equinox. We celebrate the, the harvest. And for many people, that's, you know, the, the, everything that they planted in the spring and nurtured throughout the spring and summer and harvest in the fall, but it's much more than that. It's what did you plant earlier in the year with your thoughts and intentions? How did you nurture that? And how is that coming to harvest right now? It's kind of like um, the phases of a, of a moon, which, like I said, in two days we have a harvest moon coming up. There's a near full moon tonight, but with the with the moon phases you have the the new moon where you where you set your intentions and then with with the full moon you look back and reflect so what we're looking at myself when i when i go through what did i what did i put out there what did i intend what am i harvesting right now i'm harvesting a lot of gratitude um, for everything that has came into my life some things that have come and gone for my life and things that are entering my life. Um, I know that just like you guys, you know, we, many of us have gone through some challenging times and I hate to say it, but because we're, <laughs> this is just fall, we're heading to winter. We're at the equinox. It's kind of like a heads up. It's not a bad thing. But the days are going to get a little darker. But that's also the truth is coming to surface as well. So it's it's a it's a good thing, and it's going to be a challenging thing. We'll put it that way. Um, what we're going to be seeing and experiencing is a lot of purging on so many levels that you'll know exactly what's going on, and you're going to have to rely a lot on your own personal discernment of things that are going on within your immediate life. 
and around you. Because uh, there's going to be so many different paths that you can be tempted to take. And you can listen to everyone else, but ultimately you have the truth within. So go within for those answers and and take it easy on yourself because, like I said, there is going to be a lot of purging going on, a lot of things that are going to be coming up that need to be cleansed and released and transmuted. So don't take it too hard on yourself. Still got this little thing on my lip. I was outside looking for UFOs and I went through my garage and I'm in my backyard and the garage was dark and I was walking through the back through the garage and I turned a little early before the door and my head hit the cabinet. And at first I thought I had a black eye, but it was just a scrape under my eye. And I was looking up on the internet, what you do for, um, if you have like minor scrapes and abrasions and I was, I read that coconut oil, <laughs> you put coconut oil on there. So I did that and the little scab just popped off. So there was no black eye. It was just a scab, but the lip, because the lip, you know, you smile or you laugh, it cracks open again. <laughs> and you're, oh, <laughs> I'm making myself laugh. Uh, but that's, this is going to take a little longer. I don't care. It is what it is, but I'm a little klutzy. Um, I've always been that way, and some people find it endearing. Some people don't. <laughs> I, I learned to live with it, so I'm okay with that. So, as I mentioned, what we're, what I'm looking at with the equinox is gratitude, and it's so so huge right now to be grateful for everything that's coming into your life, and to keep a positive positive attitude about everything. Um, that we're experiencing right now because, like I said, it is a trying time, but despite everything that we're going through, there's so much beauty that's going on. A great example is earlier today, I mentioned this on, on the beach update. I woke up and I look out the window and there's a dragonfly just flying around right there. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. It's a, it's a great totem to have, totem insect. And I look out my window and I go outside on my front porch and there's dragonflies flying all around. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is really good. What a, what a great positive sign. And then I go to the beach to do my beach update and all of a sudden they start flying around me right there and one flies right up to my, my camera. It was pretty cool. And I see that, you know, the, the dragonfly is a sign of transformation. And here I am doing these thoughts and intention with you guys that are tuning in and you guys are helping me to transform the water, but it goes so much deeper than that, especially on the day of the fall equinox where we're looking at transformations that are <laughs> way beyond just healing the water. So I saw that as very, very powerful. Um, insect to come to come to me and us to give us that message. I just want to read this. Um, this is what I, I, I was reading about of the dragonfly. It says the dragonfly totem carries the wisdom of transformation and adaptability in life. As a spirit animal, the dragonfly is connected to the symbolism of change and light. And I'll get into that in a minute about white light. This is really interesting and it's happening to other people. When the dragonfly shows up in your life, it may remind you to bring a bit more lightness and joy into your life. Those who have this animal, insect, as a totem may be inclined to delve deep into their emotion and shine their true colors. The dragonfly is generally associated with the symbolic meaning of transformation. Here are common meanings for this animal totem. Change and transformation, adaptability, joy, lightness of being, light body. Symbol of the realm of emotions, invitation to dive deeper into your feelings. 
being on the lookout for illusions and deceits, whether they are external or personal, and a connection with nature's spirits, fairies, is, well, I'm sorry, spirits and, uh, spirits and fairy realms. <laughs> so not just with the transformation and the light body that the dragonfly has, but be on the lookout for those illusions that are coming at you. Um, and once again, use your own discernment, go within. Um, listen to your higher self, to yourself first and foremost, before you listen to anybody else. Everyone's got a message, but listen to your message first. <laughs> And you know what I do? I, I love listening to everyone's messages. Uh, I love hearing about dates of the event. Carrie, uh, at least uh, Carrie Ann Sanders. I, I just met with her and did a beach, um, a beach update with her, and she has a date for the event. And she said it's October sixth through the seventeenth, eleven days where this the event happens. This plasma, this white light plasma just comes in and floods the planet. And I always take that with a grain of salt because I've seen so many dates come and go. But you know what? I listen and I put it out there. And if it happens, great. And if it doesn't, well, maybe it'll happen soon or sometime afterwards. I'm not, it's not going to depress me because I know it's going to happen. I've seen it. I felt it. It's going to happen. I just don't know when. My guides won't tell me. I think it's because every millisecond, timelines are changing. Every thought and, int and intention changes the timelines. So that's as far as I can get on that. Hey, Scott Nicholson from Pennsylvania, my drummer from one of my bands. Rock on, brother. Yeah, you too, man. Glad you can make it here. Matter of fact, one of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna make it up there. Love to jam with you guys again. Tell the tell the guys I said hi. So um, just getting back to the uh, dragonfly real quick. Dragonflies start to grow in water, and then move into the air and fly. When the spirit animal shows up in your life, you may be called to transform and evolve. Symbol of metamorphosis and transformation. It, it inspires those who have it as a totem to bring out the changes needed in their lives in order to reach their full potential. When the spirit animal shows up in your life, it's an indication that it's time for change. Transformation. Just like the dragonfly changes colors as it matures, you may be called to live and experience yourself differently. Stay open to the enfoldment of your personal journey. So that, what, a, what an awesome message on this day, the day of the fall equinox, to get the message from the dragonfly of transformation. That's just so freaking exciting. So, just saying hi to everyone that's tuning in, Vladimir, Gerald, Carlos, Elizabeth, Danny, and Renee. I want to say thank you for joining me. 55 people. I, I just looked up 55 people, of course. Just dropped them well, up back to 55. <laughs> I love it. I love those numerical synchronicities. It just shows you you're on the right path and doing the right thing. What else do I want to cover? Oh, yeah. So we are going from fall. We're starting fall. We're going into winter. Things are going to get a little darker, but it's always a blessing. It's things that are being purged, transmuted, keep a positive attitude. We'll all make it through it and we have each other to lean upon. So be positive. So we have a full moon coming up on the 24th and I will get to that white light. That's the last thing I'll, I'll be talking about um, that I mentioned a little bit earlier. But we have a full moon on the 24th and that Usually a full moon means, you know, you, you end up doing a lot of purging, a lot of cleansing. So it's so appropriate that we have this uh, harvest full moon happening right now. As many people are purging and cleansing various things within their, their lives. And uh, I feel for you because 
I'm myself included, I'm going through that too. Um, you know, I, I always try to keep positive about things, you know, and I've been called Pollyanna at times because I'm too positive. If that's such a thing, I don't think it's possible. <laughs> but, you know, to, to me, the glass is perpetually half full. It could be a little under the half full line, but it's still half full. <laughs> it's just the way I am. And I don't want to change that, that part of me. So what a full moon does it it brings light to darkness and especially during this this harvest that we're going through the full moon harvest and reflecting back on what what the intentions you put out there and how they have grown and was there anything that came that did not come to fruition um were there things that you felt maybe were you were disappointed about and why you know you got we're always looking at the meaning and the message behind all this you know everything that comes into my life i'm always thinking okay why why did that cup just blow across the street in front of me you know as, as i pick it up and throw it up throw it out whatever you know little things like that you're always looking at the message that's behind that so dig deep because you're always getting symbols and messages and clues, whether it's, you know, a bird, an insect, an animal coming in front of you, something in your dreams, you know, hearing a random song. Uh, if a song just pops into your head, it didn't just pop into it. There's been so many times where I've heard songs, you know, most of you guys know that yeah, I, I used to play lead and rhythm guitar in several hard rock bands. That's the kind of music I listen to, hard rock. Well, all of a sudden I might hear this like mushy song from the 70s that I haven't heard since the 70s. <laughs> but there's some kind of message in it. So listen to it, uh, figure out what the message is. And, uh, you know, I, I forgot the song I, I, I posted recent. Oh, uh, Tesla, uh, Love Will Find A Way. Uh, that, that's one of the songs that just popped in my head. Um, there's been numerous songs that, that has happened to me. I think I posted a stick song recently I forgot which song it was by Six that I posted, but there was a meaning behind that. As oh, "Come Sail Away" is about it's about this guy that believes he's being visited by angels, but as it turns out, they were extraterrestrials. So <laughs> that was a pretty cool song that just happened to pop into my head for no reason. I was at the beach, and there it is. <laughs> Elizabeth says she loves the 70s. I love the 80s. That that was my era, basically. You know, even though I'm kind of kind of old, um, the guys in my band called me OMP, Old Man Prescott, because at the time I was like 25 or 26, and they were like earlier 20s, 21, 22, or something like that. And even back then, I was taking naps and and like two o'clock in the afternoon or whatever. I've always been listening to my body. When my body tells me to sleep, I sleep. So, yeah, that was my nickname in the band, OMP, Old Man Prescott. Yeah, old, 25. God, I wish I was that old again. So we have that full moon coming up. I know, I, I, I get a little tangential, tangential. Sometimes I go off in different directions. But we do have that harvest moon coming up on the 24th. So, you know, a lot of people use that as an opportunity to cleanse their crystals as well, to not only cleanse, but recharge their crystals. So, you know, just a reminder for everybody that's out there that's going to be doing that with the crystals. There it is. <laughs> for you guys coming in late, this is one, one of the ones I got uh, today at that mystical bazaar. And there's that that window I was telling you about. There's a little window on it, right? I can see if I can get it to shine. I don't know. Yeah, it's right above my finger anyway. It's a little window right there. But all the inclusions on it are like friggin' cool. I had to buy it. I keep a crystal ball. I have a little crystal ball that sometimes I, I'll, I'll put in my hand. And it's, it's, it's in my bedroom, and I'll sometimes fall asleep with it in one of my hands, one hand or the other, just for the heck of it. So 
last thing I want to talk about. I've talked to other people about this. I've had it happen in the past, but not as much as what is happening now and not as bright and as long either. What I'm seeing is I'm getting these flashes of white light on the side and my peripheral vision. And it's not just like a, it's like it'll hang out there and then it's, it's staying longer than just a flash. Does that make sense? Uh, other people are experiencing this too. And it, it's, it's white light. That's just, it's there. And it happens when you're just like really relaxed. Um, every, every time it's happened, when I'm almost into that alpha state, that meditation state, um, and I, it might just be, you might be like watching a video or something like that. Cause that puts you in, into that kind of like, uh, kind of, and you know, most of the videos I watch are all metaphysical, you know? So, but are you guys seeing that catching the white light? It's, it's happening more and more and it's lasting longer and longer. It's just really fun phenomenon to partake in. And it just happened to me, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes before I came on, I had this, and it was, it was, it wasn't like a tiny little, it was like that big and just like, bam. So are you guys seeing that? Are you guys catching it? Yeah, and there's confirmation right there from Heather. So weird. I experienced the same things you described. Just saw one before you got on here. Bethany, yes. And Guy is saying hers are white and silver, lights and sparks. So yeah, it's a lot of us are seeing that and it's happening. It's not just something. We're on the verge of something really big. We all can sense it. We all can feel it. And you know, maybe this, this is just like, we know that that white light is coming. That's the event. The white light is going to flood the planet and it's going to bring this unconditional love to a mag magnitude. You can't even fathom on this planet. And maybe this is just like little energy that's coming in. Maybe this is the precursor to the event. I don't know, but it's happening. And it's happening to a lot of people. Lots of sparkles. Gotta love the sparkles. Shafts of light in Barbara Taylor's home. Orbs, so much stuff. Nice. Lisa's saying, oh yes, yeah, seeing the same every day. Sometimes purple or blue. Sweet. Yeah, something big is happening. We're on that precipice right now. So what I'm going to do, it's 919. So we're about half an hour away from the equinox. And I'll be doing a, um, an afterthoughts video for my Patreon, Patreon followers um, on this about what I uh, experienced for the equinox and what I did and all that fun stuff. And, but I, want, I hope you guys have an amazing equinox. Um, and, and just keep flooding the planet with love and light and gratitude because there can't be too much of that. So I'm sending you all infinite love and light. My name's Greg from in5d.com. Namaste. Love you all. <laughs>